In ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. Hello, 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 children. It is I, Squire Mac. Ah, so, so praise the Lord has summoned me here to the castle, but I don't know why. Greetings to you, Squire McIntyre. Hello. <laughs> Today is the most momentous day of your career. Neil? And receive your blessing. No, speak not. You have earned it. Now, I, Sir Praise a Lot, dub thee Sir Mac the Good Knight in service to King Jesus. Rise and accept your sword. I don't understand. I can't accept this. You're giving me your sword. No, I am passing on a worthy weapon to a most noble student. For today you have become a knight of the realm. But how? I've been so busy teaching Robespierre that I've hardly had time to study. <laughs> Don't you see, Squire Mac? Oh, that is the very thing that you needed to do. You put aside your own needs so that you could serve Robespierre. A true knight is he who thinks of God and others first. <sighs> well, I... I don't know what to say. Well, say what I always say. Praise, Praise God! God. <laughs> <laughs> so praise the Lord, I'm afraid mm. I have some bad news. I know. I must leave the kingdom. Yes, I you, knew this day would come. You see, Robespierre wants me to go to his homeland, and, and well, I think the Lord is telling me to go with him. Well, then you should go. Try and understand. I, I wanted to serve you here, but wait a moment. Did you say that I should go? Well, yes, Sir Mac. If God is calling you, then who am I to stand in his way? Oh, well, thank you, sir. But I wish I knew for certain what God wanted me to do. Then let us find out together. Yes. I shall get out the word of God right now. Okay. Ah, let us see what the scriptures have to say to us yes. today. Ah, listen to this. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. I still don't understand. Is the Bible saying that I should go to strange places I never heard of? No! I think what Jesus was doing was teaching his disciples that they should take his message of love wherever he may lead them. Oh. Here. Let me give you an example that might help you see it more clearly. Okay. Would you hold this banner? Yes. Yes, unravel it. Now, this banner represents Jerusalem. That is the city where the disciples lived. Oh, so that's like our own kingdom or, or neighborhood. Yes. yes, yes. Now, I shall need a helper. Yes, uh, you, sir. Would you hold up this sign? There you oh. are. Now, this represents, turn it this way. Jude. Judea. Represents Judea. And Judea was the state where the city of Jerusalem was located. So that's like going to the farther parts of our kingdom. Hmm. Now, I will need another helper to help me with this sign. Yes, you young lady. Would you represent Samaria? There you are. Oh, so Samaria was a kingdom even farther away. Excellent, yes. Now, what do you think this globe I'm holding represents? Oh, I know, I know, that's the ends of the earth. So yes! What, so what you're saying is that when Robespierre and I spread the good news, we should be prepared to take the love of Jesus wherever... Wherever God may lead you. Oh. Yes, you never know. God might have you serve him right there in Jerusalem or nearby in Judea. Yes. <laughs> or even Samaria, or even as far as the, the ends, ends of, of the, the earth. earth. <laughs> 
Yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. You may have a seat. Thank yes. you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so oh. much for your help. Yes. You see, you get a better picture when you use a picture, <laughs> a signs and whatnot to show you the right way to see it. Thank you yes. all for helping me understand that God will show us the way. Yes. Now I want you to listen to one more scripture I have for you. Yes. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Now, what does that mean? A cloud hid him from their sight, but he was supposed to guide us. I thought he promised. Oh, he did. And Jesus did guide us. You see, he promised that he would send a friend afterwards who would come alongside of us, a helper. And we call that helper the Holy Spirit. Cool. And now Jesus is where he belongs, high above us in heaven. And we can give Jesus the highest place in our lives by praying to him yes. and, and, and worshiping him and, and giving them proper glory that he deserves. Amen. And it never has to end, you know. Yes, someday we will be in heaven with Jesus. And even there we can worship him, praise him, and serve him forever. You see, Sir Mac, God can show you right. Take you one. I wonder over sideways and under on a magic carpet right a whole new world a dazzling place you never knew but when I'm way up here it's crystal clear now Mac, you did a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you. So you're not angry with me, teacher? Oh, no. Angry with you? Never. No, why would I be angry? I am proud of you. You did the right thing. You trusted God's will, and you followed his guidance. Hmm. Yes, you let him guide him on your path. Now, when do you leave? Actually, Robespierre is waiting for me at the crossroads. Then I shall ride out with you, and we shall pray together that you both have a safe mission. It will be an honor to ride with oh. you, my teacher. Oh, no, no, no. We shall not ride as teacher and, and uh, student. We shall ride together as brothers. <laughs> two knights serving the king in two different places. <laughs> After all, what will you teach the people when you get there? Why, the kingdom code you taught us, of course. Let's say it together, kids. Serving, serving the, the king, king is the noblest thing. <laughs> Come, Shadow, we shall ride. So 